Okay everyone, welcome to your math lesson. Now today is something a little bit different. I've taken something old and familiar, an old slideshow I made at the beginning of the year, to teach you something new, something that we've mentioned once or twice before but never really gotten into. So now that our test is finished, I thought this would be a good chance just to introduce something new to you. Now, you know this mark on the screen is the plus sign, right? The addition sign. Well, we're going to do something to it today. We're going to turn it on its side and talk about multiplication. Yes, this is the times sign or the multiplication sign. And we've kind of done multiplication a little bit already without ever really talking about it. Here's what I mean. So you may remember that a long time ago, we talked about ways of organizing things. Do you remember what we called that? Good. We called it an array. Now, when we organized things, there were a couple of ways of counting them, but the reason we did it was we didn't want to have things that were scrambled all over the place and difficult to count. We wanted to make things easy and organized to make them easy to count. So, let's look at this array here. We can do this and make one row of five and then another row of five and another row of five. How many times did I say five? Three times, right? So we've got five. That was the first time. And five, that's the second time. And five, that's the third time. How many times did I say five? Three. So it's three times five. That's what multiplication is. Three times five equals whatever all these dots are all together. And we can just skip count. Five, ten, 15. So 3 times 5 equals 15. That's how it works. It's really not that difficult. There's another way you can look at it. Now instead of rows, I have columns. But you can see the number of pink dots is the same. So there's another way we can do this. We've got three and three and three and three and three. How many times did I say three? Five. So five times three. I said three five times. And then how would I figure this out? Well, I would skip count. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Five times three is 15. So remember how we said at the very beginning of the year in one of our first lessons, we said we could add in any order in addition? Guess what? We can multiply in any order too. So if you know how to skip count and if you can make an array, you're already at multiplication. You're just about there. Let's move on.
So it would be time consuming. That means it would take time for us to count a bunch of things all over the place by ones. Like if we have these circles here, we don't really want to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh, I'm tired already. What we're going to do is we're going to organize them. And if we know how to skip count, then we can also know how to multiply. We can save a lot of time and hit really big numbers. So here we have a lot of pink circles. Let's see if we can figure out how many there are. One, two, three. No, no, no. We're not going to count all of this. It'll take too long. Let's get rid of those arrows. Instead, what we can do, and I know we haven't done it in a long time, is to make equal groups. So I'm putting a yellow circle around each group. Now, We've made equal groups. What is in each group? Five, 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 five. How many times did I say five? Six. So we have six groups of five. In other words, we counted five six times. So here it comes. We can multiply. We can say six times five. Or because we know we can multiply in any order, five times six, there's no difference. And if you know how to skip count by five, do it six times. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. So six times five and five times six equal thirty. Is it starting to make sense? So, when we say 3 times 3, we skip count by 3, 3 times. So, 3, and if we skip count by 3, that'll take us to 6. And if we skip count by 3 again, that'll take us to 9. 3, 6, 9. That's skip counting by threes. And we did it three times. So 3 times 3 equals 9. Yes, we could do it with addition and say 3 plus 3 plus 3. But that's kind of the long way. When we say 3 times 10... We skip count by 10 three times. Well, let's see. 10. And if we skip count by 10, then we'll have 20. And if we skip count by 10 again, we'll have 30. OK, we skip counted by 10 three times by 10 three times. So 3 times 10 equals 30. When we say 2 times 5, we skip count by 5 two times. Everybody knows how to skip count by 5. Do it twice. Ready? 5, 10. And there it is. And remember, we can also do it the other way. 
we can skip count by two five times. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So the answer to two times five is ten. So instead of adding 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2, we can multiply and make it shorter and faster, like this. We can make it 4 times 2. And if you look at the blue triangle, we've got 2, 1, 2, 3, 4 times. That's why this is called the times symbol or the multiplication sign okay and it doesn't matter if you use the the blue triangle way with addition or the one in the yellow triangle which is multiplication which is shorter and faster your answer is going to be the same 4 times 2 or 2 times 4 or 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 equals 8. That's it. I hope this helped. The End